guys welcome back to channel tech and art hope you guys doing good so today we will going to discuss about one of the performance areas for sql server database before starting the session i would request to each and everyone whoever newly joined channel please like to subscribe and don't forget to share with others please visit the channel playlist sql server dba more than 270 videos i have uploaded and which directly related to day to day activities if you are getting help please comment it like it share it and don't forget to subscribe the channel so let me start so today's session basically you know uh, if you are working on a database performance issues and if you haven't checked the database disk level performance then your performance tuning is incomplete okay so whenever you work on a you know uh, any database performance issues you have to be checked from the disk side whether the disk response is how it is how the disk is behavior okay so I am going to uh, execute the simple query and we will discuss on that how this query is going to help. So let me execute this query and we will see the output of this query and we will explain you. So this query output is giving basically database name which is called database file location which file having the IO issue. Okay, Here you can see multiple uh, results we got it. So you need to focus on this IO stall reads how many reads and you know are you stall writes and this column are you stall basically it's you know uh, combination of are you stall reads and are you stall writes so you need to much focus on this are you stall what is the are you stall for particular database files if any database particular files having the high are you stall which means you know this particular file having too much uh, pressure to read and write operation and which creating the IO stall is very high. So now the solution is uh, you have to be figured out uh, which query is coming continuously on a particular database which is causing the high IO stall that need to be tuned that that query need to be identified and the second thing is if you want to fix the issue so then you have to be go with you know faster disk if disk response is very slow then you have to be go to with go with faster disk and either you can re, you know move the file database file to the other uh, drive which is having the high response okay if a particular drive having the any issue you need to be move the database file to other drive so these are the common factors from the disk side which you need to you know figure out when you are working on any performance issues because disk response is a playing the classical role for any database okay so these are the fa i will i will give this query to your uh, in a description and you can go and check with your what is the you know behavior of your database okay easily you can identify it you can extract in excel and then you can analyze it okay so well that's it for today these are these are with this is the very small things but very useful in a terms of performance i will provide this query in a description you can utilize it thank you